discovered a walking, talking dummy and you didn't tell me? Okay, well, he seemed like a really nice guy at the start. Goosebumps, goosebumps. Yeah, yeah, goosebumps, goosebumps. Yeah, yeah. You know, that song actually doesn't exist at all. I just made it up on the spot for my intro. <laughs> my name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Goosebumps 2 Haunted House. I really do appreciate it. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. This film right here was one that I definitely was not looking forward to. I had no interest in it at all. I do remember Goosebumps from back in the day, and I did see the one in 2015. And uh, I don't remember much about it, but I, I think I remember me having a pretty decent time. I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. Um, it was directed by Rob Letterman. Uh, he is not coming back to direct this sequel. Uh, so the person that's directing the sequel is Ari Sindel. And I tried to look up his filmography, you know, just to see what he was done before. And he's done a bunch of stuff that I've never really heard of. So I'm not going to talk too much about that. Uh, Jack Black, Jack Black does come back um, as a, an, he does make an appearance in the film, but it is not a long appearance at all. But if you know anything about Goosebumps, uh, it's being, it's, it was a series of books uh, that came out, I think, in the 90s. Um, I think I may have read one. It was by R.L. Stein. Um, it's very popular around children. Hence, there is a movie. And this one right here on Haunted House is just kind of like one of the Goosebump stories in their long uh, list of series or whatever. And so you have this one character by the name of Slappy, who is a ventriloquist dummy. Ventriloquist dummy. And what Slappy wants to do basically is just take over the world with halloween magic now the three or how many yeah three main characters in this film are sunny sarah and sam sam is being played by khalil harris uh you know he was the black boy sarah is being played by madison eisman and sony is being played by jeremy ray taylor now jeremy ray taylor was in the movie that you know probably seen that came out last year it did a great job he did a great job in this film too sarah she did a decent job as well and sam he did okay i like when he was kind of just standing up for himself but at the same time sam i don't know man he was bucking your eyes a little bit too much for me you're making too many dumb decisions in this film and it just really uh wasn't resonating with me and a lot of it was not i mean Seriously, just some of the, the I can't talk. Some of the decisions that the characters was making in this movie was very frustrating to me, and like I just was uh, being clocking myself out when these things were just taking place. Like when I see a monster or a ghost, I'm gonna run the other way. I'm not just gonna sit there and investigate. Now, early on in the film, especially from Sonny's point of view, you know, he was reacting in a way that I would too, and you know, for a nice little. You know, a small child, you know, preteen boy or something like that. Okay, I, I can dig it. But there was just too much in this film. And I'm just like, okay, guys, run the other way. What are you doing? And, you know, I, I just really couldn't subscribe to it. I couldn't subscribe to it, but you can subscribe to my channel if you would like. But the film was still funny at times. Other times, it just wasn't funny. I talked about the reaction. And, I mean, like, this film is, uh, it really could have been, I mean, it's tailored for children. But they could have left enough room for adults, but they tried to go. They uh, they just went ahead and go the child went the childish route with this film right here. And so I really don't recommend it to adults. If you're a small child, I'm pretty sure that you will have a lot of fun with this film. I mean, it's only an hour and 30 minutes long. Um, that's what it says right here. I think it was actually an hour and 41 when I looked. Uh, but right before I saw it. But, you know, it just really wasn't for me, um, you know, but it wasn't horrible. If I had to rate. Uh, Halloween 2 out of a 1 out of 10, I would probably give it a 5.5 .5 out of 10. Yes, a 5.5 out of 10. But guys, that's just my opinion. Have you seen Haunted House 2? That's not even the name of the movie. Have you seen Goosebumps 2? Haunted House. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did I turn you on? Did I turn you off? 
do you agree with me or do you disagree with me let me know down in the comment section below let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing if you like this video go ahead and give me the thumbs up if you don't that's fine but you can still subscribe to my channel you can also look me up on social media facebook instagram and twitter all that good stuff it's right there at the bottom of your screen and i made it very easy by providing links to all that good stuff down in the description box below but guys seriously i can really use your help by subscribing to my channel i do want to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year and i can only do that with your help so please subscribe please give me a thumbs up and please share this video it will really help me out a lot but guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Goosebumps 2 Haunted House. That's not, yeah, Haunted Halloween. I keep getting the name of this movie wrong. I don't, I don't even know what I said before. It was probably wrong, but it's Goosebumps 2 Haunted Halloween. <laughs> and before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.